now going on to the Valley of the Queens and the um, small shrine to Merit Segner and the car that you can get to from the car park. I, I have to be honest, the Valley of the Queens, since they closed uh, Nefertari, um, is not really top of my list. Um, yes, it has some nice tombs in it and everything like that, but I, there's a heck of a lot that I would put before the Valley of the Queens since Nefertari's been closed. Now, Nefertari is open to those of you with power, influence, and a lot of money. Um, I believe the current price is 5,000 US dollars for 10 minutes uh, and apply to the head of the SCA for that. So, um, not really for us ordinary mortals. Um, now, the Valley of the Queens really shouldn't be called the Valley of the Queens. It should be called the Valley of um, some also run uh, royals of the 18th, 19th and 20th dynasty. Because there are an awful lot of queens that aren't in there. Um, and there are a lot of princes in there. So it's not just the girls. Uh, it's um, princes as well, and um, it's mainly 19 and 20 of dynasty. Uh, now, the shrine is um, not um, a ticketed site or anything like that. It's a, a walking guide site, and I have an excellent walking guide that I can recommend to you who can take you to places like TT320, um, TT71, the Senemut tomb, um, this shrine, um, and uh, the Valley of the Colours, etc, etc, etc. So if you're into walking, I can certainly help you with that. Um, right, back to the Queens. Uh, we ha uh, Currently, there are uh, three tombs open. Uh, Titi is a Queen. The other two are sons of Ramses III. Now, a while ago, they closed Armen Herker and uh, opened Seth Herker uh, instead, which was quite interesting. And I popped along and I did see that. Um, but normally, it is just those three. Now, the Valley of the Queens has some interesting topography, and they think that part of the mountain looks a little bit like uh, a woman's vagina, and at times when there are flash floods and the red rock comes down, that this might be why it had been selected as um, a place to bury ladies. Um, uh, I don't know uh, for sure. Nobody knows for sure. Now, um, this is uh, some a guest of mine took an illicit photo in this tomb, so you can see what it's like inside. Um, and uh, it's nice sarcophagus. Now, one of the tombs has a little fetus uh, child. Um, baby kind of mummy in it and uh, the the guardians or the bad tour guides will tell you that um, the mother of the prince was so upset that uh, her son had died that she miscarried and the baby was buried in the tomb as well. This is not true. Uh, it was just happened to be found by the archaeologists and they thought they give it a bit more respect and put it inside the tomb. Good story though. So here is um, some of the little prints going through with uh, Ramses uh, taking him and introducing him to the gods. Because he was a young prince, he needed his daddy with him to take him through to the gods. And he's shown with this forelock of youth um, very ornate at the Ramside times here and some very diaphanous linen that they're wearing 
um, and some very brightly coloured sashes, etc. etc. Um, here again, um, this is the god Shu here with the feather on top of his head. And Ramses, you see, sometimes he's wearing the red crown and sometimes a, just a wig or whatever, but he's bringing his son forward. Um, little prince there, sweet. Um, and actually, we don't know the, his age. Uh, uh, he could have been just depicted as this. Um, he could have been anything uh, from naught to 90, to be honest. We have no idea. But he's shown as a prince with a full lock of you. Um, so those are those three tombs. Yes, I did say that they weren't that great. Um, and uh, this is the shrine. So go out the car park and start walking up the hill and you'll see the path going up there. Da, 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 and that eventually leads to the workman's village. But here, do you see the little shrine? Um, and... Um, uh, it's quite nice. This is uh, my good friend Michael Campbell Smith showing me the different things there. And it's dedicated to Merit Sedna, she who loves silence, and Ptah, um, and um, uh, probably used by local people. It, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a big full scale temple, it was just a, a little shrine in the hills. Um, it's got some colour. No, not a massive amount, but it's got a little bit of, of colour there. Um, and uh, you, you can just see some of the figures there. They are a bit damaged, I'm afraid, but, but, but you know, you can see there, there is uh, uh, the um, a pharaoh being suckled um, by Merit Segner because this is a, is a way of um, getting uh, uh, divine power as being suckled by the goddesses. Um, and there you can see the glyphs. So that is the end of module 12. It's the last module in our series of Hidden Luxor. Um, thank you for sitting all the way through it. I hope you enjoy it. I've really enjoyed uh, telling you all about it. I, I love taking people around Hidden Luxor and um, I'd love to take you around Hidden Luxor and uh, you know I have great guides that I use um, I can give you these lectures etc and uh, I can show you my Luxor because there's a lot more to it than um, a lot of the tour guides tell you you know one day you can do the West Bank as you have just seen uh, it's going to take you a lot longer than that. And uh, I've been coming here since 1979. I've been living here since 2003. And I haven't seen it all. I still enjoy it. So uh, do come to Luxor and see Hidden Luxor. Thank you.